Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the pass statement in Python. In Python sometimes we need to do nothing and when we need to do nothing it's good to know that we have the pass statement. Also in Python code blocks needs to have at least one statement and the pass statement in Python usually serves as a placeholder to ensure that the block has at least one statement. We can use pass statement if we don't want to write code right away but want to write it later at some point of time. In the next few minutes I'm gonna show you a few examples how you can use pass keyword for example, in Python, every function must to have a body or code block. Here we're having a function called my function with some code block. But if we want to avoid writing this code block, we can just use the pass statement, which takes no action. So this means that this function currently do nothing. I'm going to type this code in Python idle we're having a function which is not going to do anything so we can use keyword pass and later at some point of time instead of this statement pass we can write inside this function all new code block also it's the same situation with if else statements in this case, if x is less or equal than 0, then we're not going to do anything. But else, if this x is a positive number, then we're going to print that information. x is a positive number. I'm gonna type that code again inside Python idle. I'm gonna say that x equals to 1. And then I'm gonna just write this code x is a positive number and we get the answer that x is a positive number because x has value 1 okay then let's go to the next example we can use the pass statement also with for loop or while loop instead of providing a code block inside our for loop or while loop we can just use pass statement which takes no action i'm gonna type again this example for item in range 10 pass so this for loop is not going to do anything and also it's the same situation with while loop I'm gonna make a simple example for example y x is less than 0 then we're not going to do anything also we can use the pass statement when we're working with classes if you're making a class and you don't want to provide its own code right now you can just use the pass statement let's type this code again class animal that's all in this example don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching